Val. Welcome back, Dukes and Duke and Zedia TV. Back with another video. I'm doing a video from what is it called? Vanity Fair. This is uh Terry Crews. You know the guy with the chest. Do do his chest. Terry Crews, right? <clears throat> He's gonna be on a lie detector test. This is one is titled Terry Crews takes a lie detector test on Vanity. So we'll see if he lies or tell the truth. I think he, he's a fairly honest person. We'll see. Um, his true colors will be revealed. Now, all these lie detector tests 100% true? I don't think they are, but they have strong indications on what a lie or, or when a lie is told. So, there, there are some strong, uh, you know, science behind it. But I don't think it's all, like 100% on point, you know. Not, nothing's going to be 100% on point, but it's going to be really close to... To, to give you a, a, a good sense of if somebody's lying and telling the truth. So let's see what happens. Let's hop straight into the video at the TV. Bam! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Terry Crews tells. First off, let's start with some questions about your life. Would you say you? Why did I think it sounds scary? Due to the upkeep of your physique. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Hold up, bro. What the? Bro. This fly is freaking. Am I seeing things? He 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 did do the Old Spice commercial, so I don't have a deal with them anymore. Oh, um, but I still use them. Oh, I've never tried using. Hey, yeah, y'all go ahead and toss me the deal, okay? Toss me the deal. Shoot me an email. Idiot TV at Yahoo. As a child, right? Yes. Do you think you'd win in a flute off against this woman, Lizzo? Nah, nope, nope. She got too much air. All true. Fair to say that this man is a serious flute hater? Yes. 100%. He doesn't think it's a real instrument. He doesn't like the way the flute sounds in music. Go ahead. That's really started all the black exploitation movies, all the stuff you know, all the jazz you know. Remember the thing from Taxi? Do you remember that? <laughs> is it true that you were once a courtroom sketch artist? Yes. Do you ever sketch your co-stars when they're not looking? Yes. Oh, who do you sketch the most? I tend to sketch Stephanie Beecher's the most because she's right across from my desk on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I can see her from right across the room and she doesn't know. Would you be embarrassed if she saw one of your drawings? No, because I'm pretty good. Is that true? Yeah, yes, yes it is. You're pretty confident. Yeah. I love to bake them in your cheat days, is that correct? Yes, I do. Would you ever consider having your own baking show? Yes, I would. I would definitely do that. If you were in a baking competition, do you know what dish you'd bake? Oh, yeah. I would make a bread pudding like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> you know, the way you said that, son, so like you were trying to convince a girl to... Uh, He's qualified, he's qualified, he's qualified. Are you a monster? No, uh, it's just that, you know, I don't feel a lot for bakers. Uh, so 
That's where I'm at right now. Thank you for your honesty. Not a lot of empathy for Baker. Okay. Don't no, be not, not at all. Be fast. Zero percent. Until 2 p.m., is that right? Yes. Would you say that your diet and workout is more intense than this man's? Mark Wahlberg. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Way more intense than that. You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm positive. I don't think he could last with me. Ooh. Do you think he could outlive you? Yes. Oh yeah, that's 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 hundred percent. Definitely. What about this hold on, hold on, man? What? Do you think you could lift him? Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What sure. about this man? Do you think you could outlift him? They're gonna be Ronnie Coleman. All right. I would, I would, I'm not gonna lie. I would like to see them do a do a lift off. That that would kind of be, you know, to see who actually got it because they're both some some big guys. So you know, first of all, can I say something? We have different workouts. Right. There are things that he's better than me at, and there's things that I'm better at him at. And certain exercises, I know he would be much better than me at. But there are certain things that I could do that I know he couldn't do. So. That's where that yes came from. You seem defensive. Because I love him. Let's move on. Let's talk about your career. You want that movie uh, partnership, too. Hey, y'all hey, hey, go ahead and pick me up, because I'm, I'm right here. 2010 called The Family Cruise. Throw me a row, son. Did you watch other shows in preparation for that? No. So you never kept up with the Kardashians? They weren't even on when we were on at the same time. I'm that old. Would you say that you're the Chris Jenner of your household? No, my wife is the Chris Jenner of our household. I'm the Brody Jenner of my household. I don't know who that is, but harder than Chris Jenner? No, I don't. I think she's got some major, major plans. She knows what to do. I love Chris. I follow in Chris's footsteps for real. Is that true, Barry? All true. Is there anyone who works hey, harder than Chris? He's Jenner? not lying. No. He no, haven't lied yet, so it's far. Working. It's all work. 24 hours. She's sleeping and filming herself sleep. I'm telling you, it's no joke. On the show Watch What Happens Live, you said that White Chicks 2 was definitely happening. But then Marla Wayne's posted an Instagram saying that there would be no White Chicks 2. So let's settle this once and for all, Terry. Will there be a White Chicks 2? It's not fair. Bro, hold up, bro. What the? This fly is pissing me up. Why, bro? It's not fair. Can I tell you what happened? I ran into Sean. We were at a store. And I said, hey, man, how you doing? He said, hey, how you doing? And I said, what's going on? He said, you know what? We're working on white chicks, too. And I'm like, really? And Sean's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, all right. So then I start doing press. And everybody keeps asking me about white chicks, too. And I'm going, yeah, it's going on because I got the okay from Sean. And then later on, Marlon's like, what's Terry talking about? Marlon put the pin in that whole idea. So technically, I was right from what I heard. But factually, I was wrong by what was actually going on. So let's give Sean this test. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's just gonna happen. Like, Will you tell us which one? you're gonna like a twin more than one other. I know they're not twins, but I'm just saying, like, if, if it were a situation where you, where you had to pick between one of the twins, you probably might like one more than another. Just, it's just gonna happen. That's that. That's it. Probably. He's the one. Makes sense. As the host of America's Got Talent, would you say you have an eye for talent? Yes. So you never regretted any of your golden buzzers then. Never, ever. If you were auditioning for America's Got Talent, do you know what your talent would be? I would paint a mural of myself shirtless. I would be shirtless in the mural, and I would have my shirt off as I was painting the shirtless mural. And would Simon Cowell give you the X? Yes, he would. <laughs> but I'd keep it, because they couldn't sell me. They 
You can't stop you, baby. Okay. No, no, no. No. I'm just, I'm just talking. Santa be wearing t shirts and, and yeah, flops. Ain't no waving on that one. My heart didn't even palpitate once. <laughs> You've been married for 30 years. Do you consider yourself hey, a big body 30? Win in the marriage. <laughs> first of all, can I, can I explain? The first few years of our marriage, I was not a good husband. I was very selfish. I was like what you would call a toxic. I thought that I was more valuable than my wife. And she showed me the light of my ways. Mm. She let me know that I was wrong. See, that's what a good woman would do, I man. So Everybody get you a good wife. Yeah, man. I like wife. that. She's always been a great wife. I like that. Always. I like that. There was never one time where she was not a great wife. Do you still do household chores? Yes. Yeah. 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 Last if you ever want to have fun again, you make your house fun again. He 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 better do some house chores. But you ain't getting no playtime. Your season, shiny and spotless. Your season is gonna be over. ADD when it comes to that, and I love cleaning my kitchen. It's a very therapeutic thing. For me. I love doing that too. You and your wife text when you're not together. Oh yes, all the time. Do you ever send emojis as innuendos? <laughs> What's your go-to? It's my face going like this. He said, as a windows. He know it. New ones on the iPhone. I always said it like, it's really good. One of the rooms in your office has Star Wars wallpaper. Have you seen all the most recent films? All of them. Do you enjoy The Rise of Skywalker? Oh, y'all going deep. Damn, you're going deep. I love Star Wars. This was not my favorite one. Was it your least favorite? I don't care about Star Wars, really. All the Star Wars fans, I'm not sorry. He's being very truthful. We appreciate <clears throat> your honesty. Boom. Hey, that was it for Terry Crews. Lie Detector Test. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, watch out for the next episode. It's 88 TV. Uh, let's get out of here. Bye.